Jorgo, here we are in um, a hangar here at, uh, at Benalla with your uh, beautiful glider. And I guess it's pretty nice to be in a hangar. All the team members are in a hangar and it probably helps with your preparation. You've been here over a week now um, doing some preparation. What sort of things have you been doing to prepare? Um, with the glider, I guess um, it's been a slow process, but uh, polishing, cleaning, cleaning blowholes, um, instrumentation, making sure everything like that's working, uh, flams, um, and then for on the flying side, just uh, I haven't been doing too much flying in the last week or so because uh, I've had a pretty solid lead up to this with the comp scene, uh, flying Horsham and New South Wales uh, state comps. Um, Kingaroy Nationals. So I've done a fair bit of flying over the last uh, three months, probably 150 hours or so. So um, I think I'm probably going to have today off and do some crew stuff and, and uh, play with the glider a little bit more today. You mentioned your crew. Um, they just arrived last night, I think. Uh, and, I, and I was actually talking to Steve O'Donnell yesterday and his crew is a bit of a family affair. Is that, that's true for you too, isn't it? It is pretty much, yeah. Well, I started when I was five and uh, my brother here uh, sent me solo when I was 15, so yeah, um, it, it is a family affair. My father started a gliding club when I was about five, so that got me into it. Uh, so it's good to have these guys here with me today, and um, it's an experience for them as well to have the, the young brother flying the worlds, I think. So. Yeah, fantastic. Mm. And um, it's, it's a pretty big comp. Um, you've done, you're, you're a very experienced pilot, you've done lots of nationals and um, you've done some international competition, um, but this is your first Worlds. Uh, so what are the challenges you think that might face you that are coming? Um, oh look, I'm trying not to get overawed with, with the whole thing. Uh, I think I'm okay with that. Um, I think for a, uh, a lot of people that is a challenge to not get caught up in the moment. Um, I sort of think that I'll just go out and just fly every day as a day and and treat it like that. Um, I see a lot of faces and people around here who, you know, are pretty famous and uh, won multiple worlds. Um, but I'm trying not to get uh, overawed with that, I, I guess. Um, and what are you looking forward to in the competition? Uh, just, just doing well, I think. You know, to have have a few good results would be great, and not embarrass myself. Um, is that something you should look forward to? Uh, Maybe you've got to set goals, but uh, realistic goals, and um, I guess we all dare to dream, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see, see what happens in a, a week or two. And I think it's a dream to be here. I think the, the, the fact if anyone who's competing in this competition is extremely well respected. Uh, so you, uh, your teammate is um, Bruce Taylor, and I think you've uh, been doing a bit of preparation with him. What sort of team flying might you be doing with Bruce? Uh, we flew yesterday as a team, it was the first time again. we've done it for a couple of months. Um, there's a few little things that we need to work on with the team banter, uh, you know, and try not to clog the airways and say as much as you need to say the important stuff without, you know, clogging the airways for uh, other, other pilots. Um, I think our styles sort of suit each other, we're not too dissimilar in, in the way we fly. Um, so uh, yeah, I, th I think it'll work re reasonably well. Yeah, great. Yeah. And you've mentioned your crew, um, and I, I know that you, like the other pilots, have a lot of support from all sorts of sources and different directions, um, including our gliding club, Kingaroy Soaring Club, uh, and, um, and here with the team, with the team captain. Can you say a little bit about uh, your impressions of the support and how it might help you? Yeah, um, the Kingaroy Soaring Club has been great. great. Um, Al Sim from Go Soaring has uh, donated some things for us, so that, that'll ha come in handy. Uh, the local members here at, at, in Benalla who've given us this, this hangar for, for nothing mm. um, to support the Aussies. Um, every, every little bit helps, you know, it's, it's, a, it's an expensive uh, hobby and uh, yeah, every little bit helps, it's great. Mm. So, thank you. Yeah, well we appreciate your dedication and look forward to seeing you go well. Jorgo, so thanks very much. Fingers crossed. Thank you. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much. Did you want